say I'm a sweeter man But she say that she don't need a man I say why don't we make an agreement Then we can just While we're being friends Girl, I know you wanna You know I wanna What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Coma and this video today is going to be a very informative video if you are new to the nursing world, if you're trying to become a nursing student, if you're already a nursing student, whatever it is, if you're LPN, whatever it is, this is the video for you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other videos that I post but before we get right into the video actually I do want to just say I know I was gone <laughs> I know I was gone for like a month one thing about it when school comes in session like I'm on go mode YouTube I'm so sorry to say it but YouTube becomes like in the back of my mind when school comes in session because I need to make sure I'm passing my classes yeah I need to make sure I'm passing my classes I actually just had two tests today I have my critical care and my community test today once school is in session you're not really gonna see me that much but I'm trying to like give you guys something so if you guys um didn't know I am a nursing student I am in my fourth well this is eight <laughs> I am in my fourth year oh my god I can't even believe that like I'm a senior I'm a senior in college like that's actually mind-blowing I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks of things that um you know I picked up along the years these are things that I learned freshman year sophomore year junior year, and even now because I'm learning things all the time so these are 10 things that I wish I knew before becoming a nursing student let's get right into it the first thing I wish I knew before starting nursing school is how time consuming it is it is actually so mind-boggling how time consuming it is because you have a lot of classes you have a lot of you have nursing classes and then on top of that you have the other prereqs and general eds that you have to complete and then you have to study for these nursing classes they're not easy you have to study at least probably two three hours a week for each class it's a lot you know and my mistake was i didn't have a planner when i first came into nursing school like i had a planner but i didn't really utilize it the way i should so what i suggest is you get a planner and you write everything in the planner school related work related lifestyle related everything needs to go in that planner so that you're organized and that you can see everything that you need to do in steps because once you see everything that you need to do like even for the week or for the next two weeks you could do it like in ahead plan yourself better because it, the worst thing to do in nursing school is procrastinate and do things last minute because you're going to feel overwhelmed all the time the second thing i wish i knew before i started nursing school was do not buy the textbooks so what I mean by this is do not buy textbooks that you can find for free online so my mistake going into nursing school I bought all the textbooks that I thought I needed and when you really get into the class and really start using all the materials like yeah you can use the textbook sometimes but a lot of the times you don't utilize the textbook and everything that you need for the test or to pass the class is in either the slides you have to gauge what teacher you have honestly but the textbook is really unnecessary and they're expensive they're ridiculously expensive so find online sources that give you free textbooks the med search classes i actually have to buy the textbook it's like a 300 dollars well i bought it once it's a 300 dollars textbook and we use it for med search one two and three and it's basically like course point i don't know if anyone knows what that is but it's like a course point textbook it's like an e-textbook and sometimes they assign homeworks on it like prep views or um videos to watch and it's, it's actually a really good resource it has a lot of information like i do like it but i had to buy it once and i used it i used it for multiple classes but that's an example of a textbook that i had to buy but anything that i don't need to do homework on like that textbook i'm buying it somewhere else the psych textbook uh, community nursing textbook uh, pharmacology the davis uh, drug uh, drug guide i got those all online i did not buy those because it's a waste of money um renting is also a waste of money you could you could find it online i promise you you could find it on okay so number four what i wish i knew before starting nursing school is utilize outside resources like youtube i did not use youtube as an actual 
source of information to study and stuff until probably junior year and i don't know why because youtube has everything like it literally has everything please 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 use youtube if you don't understand a topic or if you don't understand a process if you want to understand like pulmonary um hypertension like what are the steps like what exactly is it the pathophysiology the side effects the meds all of that stuff if you're confused because either the slides don't have enough information like the powerpoint slides don't have enough information or the test book is making it so complicated that you can't even understand it use youtube there i promise you there's a video there's at least one there has to be at least one video out there that is explaining that process detail by detail but it's making i don't want to say for dummies but it's like for dummies <laughs> because it's like it makes it so simple that you have to understand it like especially a registered nurse rn everybody talks about her registered nurse rn um there's another one i forgot what he's called it's a guy so number five on the list of things i wish i knew before starting nursing school was credits matter so what i mean by this is the amount of credits that you have going into well, at least for my school, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's every school, but the amount of credits that you have going into school matters for registration time. So how my school does it is every time we register for classes, they um, go in order of who has the most credits. And I didn't know this until going into nursing school. I wish I did know this before starting nursing school because I probably would have bulked up some more credits from my um, college credit courses that I could have taken in high school but it's not that much of a setback it's just that you're probably gonna have the last pick of classes or professors or times when you're registering for classes that's just something to keep in mind nothing major number six on the list of things i wish i knew before starting nursing school was you're eventually going to have to start doing two clinicals in one week and when did i find this out i, th I think i found this out when i was registering for classes for senior year <laughs> i was like wait why is there two clinicals i was like wait no like yeah you're gonna have to start doing well at least for my school this is all for the school i go to i'm not sure about and i go to um malloy university by the way so i don't know if i said that so number seven number seven on the list should i put some more lip gloss i'm gonna put some more lip gloss hold on Number <laughs> seven on the list of things that I wish I knew before starting nursing school was how detrimental it can be to your mental health. When I tell you, you guys need to put yourself first. Yes, yeah, school comes first. School comes first, but your mental health and your self care has to come, but even before that, because burnout from school is real. Like a lot of people get mentally drained from nursing school. Like it is a lot. It's a lot. Of material that you just need to know like you're handling somebody's life and it's very important to know this information so you're constantly learning you're constantly applying what you've learned to clinical situations you're constantly testing homework you know and you're trying to keep life balance with work and social life with friends and whatever it is whatever you do like even YouTube like you see me I had to take a month off but you know I wish I knew how detrimental to this, uh, the health, uh, the mental health it could be, but you know, just to get over that, you could just probably just take days for yourself. Like, don't overwork yourself with your planner. Write down everything you have to do for the week, and probably do everything you have to do for the week on one day. Like that's what I do. I take Tuesdays. I take to do all the work I have for that week. If I finish that week's work and I feel like I want to go into the next week's work too, I'll start doing it too just so that I'm caught up and I'm not backed up and not stressing because the last thing you want in nursing school is to stress yourself out. It's horrible. I've had friends that I started this program with freshman year that had to take breaks. They had to stop because it's like it's too much. You need to take time for yourself and I totally understand it because it's just like it could it could really get really it, it could get there it, it, could, it could get there so really take time for yourself and be your number one fan okay number eight on the list of things I wish I knew before starting nursing school was that you start to get very desensitized you start to become very desensitized to a lot of like gruesome and like 
horrid things because you see a lot of um trauma you see a lot of dying you see a lot of disease processes you see a lot of things that's just negative and it starts to become the norm like you're just always seeing trauma disease infection death grief you know all that stuff you start to become very desensitized to a lot of things but you know just try not to let that overcome you because it could get really like it could get really gruesome it could get really like sad sometimes like the material itself that we're learning but you know i wish i knew that but you just gotta um rise above it so number nine on the list of things i wish i knew before starting nursing school was how to study so when i was in high school i never really studied i used to um like if i had a test like the most i would study was probably for like my u.s government um test because there were a lot it's a lot of material and i would probably study two days before or the night of the day before and take the whole day and just like um go over my notes and stuff but that doesn't work for college it doesn't and it doesn't work for nursing school at all like i couldn't do that and i didn't really learn my niche for how I wanted to really study or how, what is best for me and it took me a while probably took me till junior year to really know that what I have to do is I have to like re-watch the lecture so if you have the opportunity like with my classes my nursing classes like maybe the first day of class the teacher would ask us if there's anyone that wants to not record the class if you're not into recording the class then you have to like tell them and stuff like that but if not and you are able to record the class record every lecture not even like what you see but just audio record the audio of the lecture because what i learned is that i need to listen to the lecture over and over again and rewrite my notes for me to actually like get it drilled into my head i watch it in 1 1.5 to 2 speed though i don't watch like a two-hour lecture like if it's a two-hour lecture I'm probably watching it for one hour because it's a two time speed if that makes sense but I find that when you do that is better because it helps reinforce information I need reinforcement like I can't just read things I need reinforcement I need to relearn it relearn it and relearn it so just find what is best for you just learn how you study and stick to it and learn it fast okay don't be like me and learn it junior year learn it fast because it's going to help you all right so number 10 that the last and final thing on this list so something that i wish i knew before starting nursing school was that when well one select all the apply questions i wish i knew that that was a norm because i'm not really good with that <laughs> i'm not the best with that but it is what it is but yeah that but also what i wish i knew was that in a lot of nursing questions especially on the NCLEX there could be multiple correct answers in a question but you have to choose the best one I don't even understand why that's a thing because it's like why are there multiple correct answers like you're telling me out of the four choices three of them are correct but one of them is the most correct like that's so confusing to me and I don't understand it but you know that's the norm it's like you change one word and now that one answer that was the best is now not the best answer because one word has changed it's like that's so complicated i just need i need straightforward i'm a very straightforward type of bitch like just give it to me please but <laughs> yeah and i'm scared for the nclex i'm taking the nclex next spring and i'm getting the next generation of course like of course of course my graduating class is the class that is getting the next generation in class like what are the odds what are the odds like please but no i'm passing in god's name so yeah that's really it those are the 10 things i wish i knew before starting nursing school and I hope I enlighten someone that is starting nursing school or is in nursing school or wants to start it. Like, just know these are these are some norms. I don't know if it's all norm because some of them are might be to my school, but generally it's all 
in nursing school so i hope i enlightened you if you guys want another what type of these videos because there's other things that i <laughs> like when i told you nursing school was so complicated there's other things i wish i knew as well if you want more like things that i wish i knew and then like this video and you know comment down below you guys like my hair do you like it i use the oh my god hold on i use this oh my goodness this i wish i knew about this so much longer ago like this really like it really did the job it did and it was quick very quick but yeah i like it it's cute thank you guys for watching if you like this video or if you like me make sure to like comment and subscribe to your girl jenna Cuomo so that you can see some more nursing students or future nursing students i wish you nothing but great luck or success you're going to pass every class in jesus name and Bye guys, see you later.